this video to find sine and cosine in terms of points on the unit circle. A unit circle is a circle with radius 1. Up to now, we have to find sine and cosine and tangent in terms of right triangles. For example, to find sine of 14 degrees, in theory, you could draw a right triangle with an angle of 14 degrees and then calculate the sine as the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse. But if we use this method to try to compute sine of 120 degrees, things go horribly wrong. When we draw this 120 degree angle and this right angle, there's no way to complete this picture to get a right triangle. So instead, we're going to use a unit circle, that is, a circle of radius 1. The figure below illustrates how right triangles and the unit circle are related. If you draw right triangles with larger of hypotenuse 1, with larger and larger angles, then the top vertex sweeps out part of a unit circle. Let's look at this relationship in more detail. In this figure, I've drawn a right triangle inside a unit circle. The hypotenuse of the triangle is the radius of the circle, which is 1. One vertex of the right triangle is at the origin. Another vertex of the right triangle is at the edge of the circle. I'm going to call the coordinates of that vertex A, B. Now the base of this right triangle has length A, the x-coordinate, and the height of the right triangle is B, the y-coordinate. If I use the right triangle definition of sine and cosine of theta, this right here is the angle theta, then cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's A over 1, or A. Notice that A also represents the x-coordinate of this point on the unit circle at angle theta from the x-axis. I'll write that down. For sine of theta, if I use the right triangle definition, that's opposite over hypotenuse, so B over 1, which is just B. But B also represents the y-coordinate of this point in the, on the unit circle at angle theta. For tangent theta, if we use the right triangle definition, it's opposite over adjacent, so that's B over A. I can think of that as the y-coordinate of the point over the x-coordinate of the point. Now for angles theta that can't be part of a right triangle because they're too big, they're bigger than 90 degrees, like now I'll call this angle here theta, I can still use this idea of x and y coordinates to calculate the sine and cosine of theta. So if I just mark this point on the end of this line at angle theta, if I mark that to have coordinates x and y, then cosine theta I'm still going to define as the x-coordinate of this point, sine theta as the y-coordinate, and tangent theta as the ratio of the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate. When we use this unit circle definition, we always draw theta starting from the positive x-axis and going counterclockwise. Let's use this unit circle definition to calculate sine, cosine, and tangent of this angle phi. In our figure, we have a unit circle, and these numbers are supposed to represent the x and y coordinates of this point on the unit circle at the end point of this line segment that lies at angle phi from the positive x-axis. Sine phi is equal to the y-coordinate. Cosine phi is equal to the x-coordinate. And tangent of phi is given by the ratio of the two, which works out to negative 0.3639 up to four decimal places. This video gives a method for calculating sine, cosine, and tangent in terms of the unit circle. 
Starting from the positive x-axis, you draw the angle theta going counterclockwise. You look at the coordinates of the point on the unit circle where that angle ends, and the cosine of that angle theta is the x-coordinate, sine of theta is the y-coordinate, and tangent of theta is the ratio.